We're joined by Manchester native Ron Goslin. And uh, Ron, first of all, congratulations. Uh, you'll be inducted today into the New Hampshire Legends Hockey Hall of Fame and uh, deservedly so. It's been quite, quite a long journey, right? I know it's been quite a long journey, but for a long time I resisted okay, coming into the, uh, as an inductee because I was refusing Leo Gould. <laughs> and Leo would come on, give me a story about your hockey life. I said, that's not worth, worth telling. But eventually uh, something broke down and here I am today. Well, and we're, we're glad uh, that you will be inducted a little bit later on today. And uh, you have been uh, so helpful to so many people making their way in the hockey world, getting a chance to play uh, the game of hockey. Uh, how many teams uh, uh, did you own? Uh, well, I owned uh, two, uh, well, two Junior A in Manchester. Mm -hmm. I owned a semi-pro team in Manchester, and I owned, I was co-owner the Sherbrooke Beavers of the Major Quebec League in yeah. Quebec. Yeah. And that and was that was the cat's meow, though. Yeah, 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 but that's a terrific league without, yeah. without question. Yeah. How, how long were you involved with Sherbrooke? Sherbrooke, I was a scout for about three years, and then they asked me to to buy into the team with uh, five other guys. Yeah. So we eventually we were 12 owners, and one of the owners was Guy Lafleur. Guy Lafleur, huh? Yeah, it was a partner with us, yeah. How, how about that? And I see every Blackhawks tie on today. But I own the match the Blackhawks. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when did your involvement in hockey begin? I, I know that uh, you know you had a, a very successful hockey store in uh, in Manchester and sporting goods, uh, but when did it, your first association with hockey come about? Well, my first association with hockey was basically with Ray Champagne. Oh, really? Yeah. So Ray Champagne, when he came in from Canada, I became friendly with him. Yeah. Okay, and I became part of his family in Quebec. I used to go there all the time, yeah. mixed with his family. I got invited for weddings and all that stuff. And Ray used to work for Lions Ironwork. He was driving a truck. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. And so one day I says, hey Ray, I says, how about uh, you come in to work in the hardware store? I said, I'll give you the same pay as you're making driving a truck. So he left Lions Ironwork and he came and started to work for me. So when he started to work for me, I says, well Ray, you have to give me some ideas. Because you're going to be the manager someday, and he became the manager. He says, "Well, and we went and we look at every department that we had. I had a household department, mm -hmm. so we look at all my figures, and I was doing about two, three thousand dollars a year of sales of houseware. So I said, how about removing the houseware and putting hockey equipment in there? So we gave a whole section to hockey. We put in a skate sharpening machine, mm -hmm. and our sales became two hundred and fifty thousand bucks a wow. year. Wow! How about that? I huh? says, so there was a success. And then it started. So Ray earned his keep, right? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. No, Ray was the main cog in what yeah. I, whatever I did in Hockey Life, Ray Champagne, he was my star. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then was he, Ray, when he was younger, he played hockey in, in Windsor, Quebec. Yeah. And he played with a guy named George Gilbo. And George Gilbo's father was a coach. Mm -hmm. So George Gilbo went to play hockey for the Kansas City Scouts, and he lost an eye. Mm. So he came back to Sherbrooke and he went to see Mr. Drolet, the people that own makes a Sherwood hockey stick. Yeah. So George Gilbo took a bag of sticks, came to the state, and the first place he stopped was our place to sell sticks. Wow. So, wow. so that's how it progressed with George, and we were selling a lot of Sherwood sticks. Yeah. So one day George comes in, he says, hey, how about you buying into the Sherwood Beavers? He said, we're seven guys, we're looking for five more. So that's when I bought in with the uh, Sherbrooke yeah, Beavers yeah. because of Ray Champagne's friend. It's everything is associated with Ray. Everything, everything as a result of Ray Champagne. Yeah, a, a legend of hockey. Yeah, and yeah. then I started my junior A general, the junior A team, the first team. Yeah, and Ray was the first coach. And then Jacques Leclerc <coughs> became the second coach of the general. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And then I started a professional hockey school. Yes, yeah. And, and tell us about that. Well, we, we operated that for fourteen years. Yeah. The first two years, I had my guys from Sherbrooke come in to, to run the show. Right. But they were asking too much money, so at the end of the year, I, I didn't make any money with the, with the school. Right. Because they wanted me to rent camps at the Hampton Beach and everything. Yeah. yeah. So after the, uh, thir on the third year, I asked Pierre Belanger to be a, my head instructor, and Pierre was my instructor for 11 years. Wow. Yeah, he ran the hockey school, and Ray Champagne ran the power skating school. I had a week in July, which Pierre ran. And in August, I had two weeks of power skating, and Ray Champagne ran that too. 
Wow. And, and you had some uh, some other coaches. I understand Terry O'Reilly. And, and uh, Terry O'Reilly was bad instructor at hockey school at Bonnie Little Rock, yeah. and my friend from Montreal. Yeah, he was a goalie coach. Yeah. I mean, he was very good. Yeah, Bunny was a good friend of mine for, that played for the Canadians. He yeah. was with Ken Bryden. Great goaltender, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then Bunny died at uh, 40 years of age. He had melanoma. Oh, dear. So I was a good friend there in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, he was yeah. a good instructor. Uh, what a background. And I mean, a lot of the lives you touched, they went on and, and made uh, hockey their careers. Uh, yeah. A, couple, a few of them, anyway. Well, especially yeah. with the Sherwood Beavers. Yeah. There's 28 players for that play for the Beavers that played yeah. the National Hockey League. Wow. 28 of them. Yeah. That is something. That's huh? something, yeah. How, how long did you have an association with the Beavers? Till uh, they sold the team in 1986. Mm -hmm. They sold the team to a town uh, not far from Montreal called saint jean de mm -hmm. which became the major. Yeah. And so the guys that I was involved with, we were 12 guys, and the five of us did not want to get involved with the American Hockey League. Yeah. So what they did, the seven guys, they bought into the... Uh, American Hockey League, mm -hmm. but they became the farm team of the Winnipeg Jets. Mm -hmm. In those days, the Jets, they were known as the loser pig. Yeah, <laughs> so, loser pig, yeah, all right. So, <laughs> like us with the, with the Junior A team, yeah. every game full was a full house. Yeah. 4,500 seats full plus 1,500 people standing up. Yeah. yeah. Winnipeg came in, they were averaging 1,700 a game. Oh my goodness, wow. wow. So, the second year, what they did, Winnipeg, they asked Montreal to join. Mm -hmm. So it was 50% Montreal Canadiens and 50% Winnipeg for the second year. Yeah. The third year, it was all Montreal. Right. They won the Calder Cup, yep. and then they moved from Sherbrooke to Nova Scotia. Yeah. And that's when Pat Burns was a coach. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you, you've got some great stories to tell. Yeah. And uh, boy, it's an honor to have you, Ron, uh, as a member of the Legends Hockey Hall of Fame in, in New Hampshire. Uh, richly deserved. You've influenced uh, a lot of lives over the years. Uh, you, you've run. You've employed a lot of people over the years with all yeah. the businesses that uh, oh, yeah. that you have run in the Manchester area and beyond. And uh, we uh, are so glad to have you uh, as a member. Yeah. Well, that's. Uh, I'm glad to be a member too. But I resisted for a long time. But uh, I don't know how I got in. It's because oh, I, I think we know how you got in. <laughs> My goal. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you're, you're one of the great, the great hockey people of all time uh, uh, yeah. in New Hampshire in terms of team ownership. <laughs> look, at the, look at all the, the equipment you sold over oh the years. My gosh. Uh, yeah, uh, so. Unbelievable. They came from everywhere. So. Yeah, they yeah. did. Yeah, we had a good hockey store. Well, Ron Goslin, uh, congratulations. We really appreciate having you here. Thank you very much.